Hey guys, so today I wanted to do something a little different video wise and I'm going to be doing a hits and misses video and it's going to kind of go in, in hand in hand with my like what I would do a favorites monthly favorites video because of course my hits are going to be favorites. Some of them are monthly, some of them are things that I've tried previously and I still use on a daily basis things that I still like. So, um Luckily, I don't have, I have six of each, but two of my misses are kind of the same item. You'll see what I mean as we get through the video. So, the first thing I want to talk about is our two baby products. Two products I use for my son or have tried for my son. And one of them, let's just, I'll just, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing is Eucerin Baby Sensitive Skin Experts Eczema Relief Body Cream. And if your child has any kind of eczema, this is a little bit pricey. It's like $8, I think, which I guess, I guess isn't that pricey, but for a, basically a lotion. But it is medicated and it works really, really well. He gets eczema along his forehead area between his eyes and sometimes on his chin pretty pretty bad and if he did get it anywhere else on his body I would also use this this stuff works amazingly it's like a thick cream if I can get it open it's really hard to open <laughs> oh, okay it's like a thick cream I don't know if you guys can tell. Pretty thick and it works really, really well if you just wash the area first or wipe up down the area first so that it's clean and then apply this. It works like a dream. So I definitely would suggest that to anybody. And then the Miss product for the baby products is kind of like a miss and a hit at the same time. I mean, it works, but not for very long, which is what I would need. It's my child, my son is actually teething right now. He's got two front teeth coming in on the bottom. They broke through the skin now, and he's been in a lot of pain. And I have been trying these Highlands Baby Natural Relief Teething Tablets, and they do work for like 20 minutes. <laughs> And then you have to keep giving them and giving them and giving them. And I really don't like doing that if I can avoid it. I don't like to give him any kind of mes medication if I can avoid it. Because, you know, medication is bad for a baby's liver and things like that. I don't think these are necessarily bad for him because they are all natural. Like homeopathic. Um, they do work, but be warned if you're going to get these. They only work for like 20 minutes, and I, I don't have any idea how much these cost. Probably around $8. I'm, I'm not, I'm just assuming. Um, I didn't buy them for myself. I, oh my gosh. I didn't buy them for myself. I actually got them in as a gift from his baby shower, and I'm just now using them. And the tablets are teeny tiny, and they, and they instantly dissolve. And that's what they look like. So, I mean, it's kind of like a hit and a miss. Like I said, they work, but not for very long. Especially not if you're trying to get him to go to sleep or anything like that. I mean, maybe if you're trying to get him to go to sleep, like, later on at night, these might work. But, like I said, they just don't work for very long. One second. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, as far as these go, I don't know. I wouldn't re necessarily recommend them. They do work for short periods of time, but I found that just cold teethers or frozen teethers work a lot better, so I don't know. I'm still kind of on the, the bridge with that. Um, the next thing I have is a skincare, like a facial skincare product, and the first, and they're both by the same brand, which is why it's so disappointing. The hit that I have is Derma E Hydrating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. Moisturizes as it cleans and it's sulfate free for dry to normal skin. This stuff is amazing. I love it. It's not, it's like not a foamy cleanser or anything like that. I mean, it does foam up as you're washing your face, but I use this in the shower almost every single time. I use it every time I shower and then I use it almost every night. Sometimes I'll switch to like a uh, microdermabrasion scrub because I do have extremely dry skin. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm struggling with it today. I have not used this in a couple days so I'll be using this tonight when I shower. Um, it's very, it is very hydrating I find. Like it's not, 
it's not it's a very watery cleanser if that makes sense like it's pretty runny and like watery liquidy um but it works really really well it does clean my pores out really well and i use it in the shower like i said with the steam and between the steam and this my pores feel extremely clean after i get out of the shower and then i just use my moisturizer okay so for the mist i have the same brand derma e uh, makeup remover for regular <laughs> Samuel with chamomile and cucumber for regular and waterproof makeup oil free fragrance free and it's for all skin types this did not work <sighs> Okay, so sorry, teething baby, like I said. <laughs> okay, so back to this. This does not work. Like, I tried to use it. Okay, it doesn't work to take off your eye makeup, in my opinion. It takes off my eyeshadow and my foundation and all of that. Even my foundation, though, I do have issues taking it off with this. Um, I don't know. I tried it to take off my eye makeup, and it does not re remove waterproof mascara, let me just tell you. It takes, like, a million cotton pads. To get it to work i even tried just slathering it on my face with water like i would a face wash and it does not work <laughs> so i don't know i don't know it's kind of a downer for me which sucks because i love derma e products but that just is it. didn't work um the next product i have is a body product and i actually just got this not even a month ago but i love it so much i have to talk about it it is the sponge jelly um sponge that i got in my boxy charm that i got in my boxy charm and it has like a spongy side and then it has a like a uh i don't know plasticky I don't, I, don't, I don't know like a rough spongy side i guess i don't know and that's for like um brain fart oh guys i can't talk today um i guess this is for like a body scrub i don't know but anyway it smells really good and it, it is body wash infused so there's body wash already in here and that's why it's so heavy but um you just get it wet and then kind of squeeze it a little bit get it wet a little bit more and then rub it all over your body and i love that it has the scratchy side i use that Ooh, i have soap all over my hands but it smells so freaking good guys and i will honestly probably as long as the sponge is still working well and like not falling apart i will probably use it it says 14 washes i think something like that after the soap runs out in it i will probably still use it with my own body wash just because i love it so much i love the way it feels it makes my skin really soft one disclaimer about that that i would have to say is if you don't like that like squeaky clean like bar soap kind of almost drying feeling to your skin like squeaky feeling i don't know how to describe it bar soap feeling is what i would say then i wouldn't recommend it because it does give you that squeaky feeling i don't know Okay, and then for my mist, I have the Nair Hair Remover Bikini Cream Sensitive Formula. This does not work. I don't know if I just have a ridiculous, like, I shave all of that on a, on a regular basis. So I thought this would be, I thought this would be really great and I had high expectations for it because I have used because I have used the Nair like leg hair removal or whatever and it works really well but this does not work and it also says on the thing do not exceed 10 minutes well I did I exceeded 10 minutes I left it on for 12 minutes just to see if maybe it the directions were having you not leave it on long enough and it still did not work also on the the label it says and i find this funny because it's for the bikini area it says do not use around eyes and nose and ears on breasts or nipples okay that makes sense but do not use on preannual or vaginal genital areas <laughs> bikini <laughs> like that is my vaginal area. I mean, what, I don't know. Maybe I like have the wrong conception of what a bikini area is, but I shave all of that, guys. I mean, like, what what is your bikini area? Like, I don't know. 
are they talking about like your legs? Like it just makes no sense to me, but it does not work. So I don't know. I would not recommend it. It's pretty pricey for the teeny tiny tube that you get. You only get 1.7 ounces. <laughs> you only get 1.7 ounces and it just doesn't work. So I don't know. And I think it was like $8 for 1.7 ounces of something that doesn't even work. So I don't know. Okay, sorry. So back to the video. Um, the next hit I have is a makeup brush, and it is the Royal and Lane Nickel BX80 brush, and it's really dirty, as you guys can tell. I need to wash my brushes. I may do a how I wash my brushes video. Interesting, maybe. maybe. Um, I love this brush. It works really well for just applying shadow. Whew. Applying shadow to the lid. I used it today, actually. And I love this brush. And while I'm on the subject of these brushes, I actually got this as a set of three in, I believe it was my BoxyCharm last month. And I love this brush. Love it. That being said, I do not, do not like the other two brushes that it came with. This is what they look like. And the first one is the Royal and Ling Nickel BX90 brush. And that is the longer, more fluffy-ish, I guess you could say, brush. And then the BX95 brush, which is a, the small brush. Okay, now, that being said, the reason I don't like these <laughs> is because they are so stiff. And when I first got them, I was thinking, oh, that's going to be amazing for a smoky eye. Wrong. <laughs> This picks up so much product, and even after tapping it off, it just applies the product so roughly and, like, intensely that blending it with this is impossible. So I have to, if I was going to use this, which I've decided I'm not using it, <laughs> not for what I was using it anyway for, um, I would apply my makeup in the crease, my shadow in the crease, and then I would have to take a blending brush and blend and blend and blend and blend because... It applies so much product and it applies it even with a very light hand it applies it so i don't know roughly i don't know how to explain i mean they're soft brushes and all that but it just i don't know i just don't like it i don't know i don't like it I don't know. maybe i'm gonna get some hate for that but then this brush i am kind of on the fence with because it does the same pro it has the same problem it's so stiff like i don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so stiff that I can't get like an even application with it. I can't blend with it at all. Um, the only thing that I think this brush would be really, really, really good for would be blending out eyeshadow under the eyes or um, your liner on the top, maybe. Um, same with this, if I wanted to kind of smoke it out underneath or on top. I don't know why I would need both of these maybe for this one for more of a I don't know, I don't know guys I, don't know. I just don't like these brushes at all I will continue to try them because they are nice brushes they are made really nicely and I love the uh handles of them they're like this like almost suede feeling rubber rubberized handle and again I do love this one I love it so much but I don't know maybe they'll be less stiff and awful after I wash them I don't know. I will continue to try them, maybe for different things. Let's see what I think. I'm so sad that I don't like this because I love getting brushes in my boxes and stuff. Okay, so the next item I have is actually something I'm wearing today, and it is this lip product. And this is actually really, really old. <laughs> I totally like forgot I had it. I I rarely even used it when I got it. I don't know why, but. I've been using it a lot lately, and it is the Revlon Color Stay Over Time Lip Color in hmm, Constantly Coral. Mm, green color. And this is what it looks like. Um, the it does stay on for a really long time, and it comes with like a little doe foot applicator. The product is kind of runny, honestly. Like, I have to shake it up to get it to, the, like, get off the bottom of the thing. But, um, I don't know. I just am loving this color, especially for, like, spring, going into summer. Oh, I'm so ready for summer. I don't know about you guys. Um, so this side is the color product, and you apply that, let it dry. And it is kind of drying to your lips. I don't know. Maybe that's just me 
But once you apply this side, it's like a shine. I don't know. It's like a top coat is what they call it, a top coat. And you apply that and it gives it like a glossy shine. You don't have to apply that. If you want it to be matte, you could just apply like a matte lip balm or something on top if you wanted, just so that it's less drawing to your lips. I actually applied this and let that kind of soak in. And then I applied a lip gloss and I really like it. I really like this so far. I don't know. And it does last all day. Sometimes you do get that like outer edge that stays while the rest of it fades. My son just fell over. Hold on. Baby problems. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is in my hits this month. I don't know. It's an old product that I really like. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I could probably find out and let you guys know. Um, so the last, the last miss I have is something I wanted to like so bad again. Okay, sorry. So the last miss that I have, I know this video is getting super long is a mascara and it's by blink and it's the mascara amplified stop painting your lashes tube them and i wanted to like this so bad it's pretty much full i've used it like four or five times just because i was adamant on making sure i didn't like it before i talked about it i don't like this at all Get out of my face. i don't like this at all i think the concept is really cool that you should be able to just put warm soapy water or warm water on your lashes and peel it off and it comes off in tubes. It does do that, but the problem is it does that throughout the entire day. It flakes throughout the entire day. I wore this for eight hours one day and I wore it for, I don't know, I wear it through the entire day and I find that it flakes all over under my, un under my eyes and it's just awful and I hate it. I hate that. And I'm constantly having to go check up in the mirror, make sure I don't have any like little nasty black flakes all over my face. And my boyfriend's been like, what's on your face before? So I would not recommend this if you don't like that, which I can't imagine anyone liking that issue. <laughs> um, I don't know. I probably will not use it again. I might pass it on and see if like my sister would want it. I don't know. I doubt it though. Um, especially if I tell her why I don't want it. <laughs> so I don't know. I probably will have to go in the trash pile, unfortunately, which sucks because there's so much product in there and I hate to waste product, but, uh, <laughs> oh, that was attractive. But like I said, I just, I just don't like it. I can't like have something flaking all over my face all day. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the last product I have is a home goods product. And like I said, I had six of each products, but two of the products were the brushes. So it kind of counted as one. But here's my last hit product. And it is a home goods product. And it is the Sugared Melon Kiwi Scented Wax Cube. And I have a candle melt in my living room. And I freaking love this scent for some reason. Like, it just makes me think of summer. Like, it's so fruity and like, it does smell like kiwi, but it also kind of smells like watermelon, which I guess scented melon kiwi. It smells so good. I don't know. It like makes my entire house smell like melons and kiwis. And whenever my boyfriend and the kids get home, they're like, what did you cook? It smells so good in here. And I'm like, that's, I didn't cook anything. So I think that's going to be my whole video. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry it was so long, just a lot of talking and I had to stop over and over for the baby. Um, but if you guys like this, let me know in the comment section down below and I will maybe do this again next month if I have that many products next month. Um, I think I may do a brush cleaning video for you guys just to show you how I clean my brushes. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and thumbs up and comment in the comment section below if you want to see this kind of video again and thanks for watching